Let's look at vesicular transport. In this case, you're transporting things in bulk. It's like a bulk transport um, technique. Before, the carriers can only buy one or two things at a time. Here, you can just bring things in bulk across the cell membrane. And this form of, form of, form of transport is done in two directions. One, one direction is called endocytosis. Here, you move things into the cell. And then you have exocytosis, moving things out of the cell, okay? And this is the, base, the basic technique of each. So, for, first for endocytosis, here you have the cell membrane, okay? And here you have something here that you want to bring in. So you start off there, the cell will then, the membrane will then fold around your thing of interest, then form a vesicle around it, the vesicle will wrap around it, and eventually that membrane will butt off inside the cell, and now you have this thing is now inside the cell. That's endocytosis, moving it from out to in. Okay. This is your endocytosis. And then the vice versa. Here for exocytosis, here you begin with something in the cell that you want to get rid of, right? This thing. And so, Here you go. Step one is you will form a vesicle around the thing of interest to you. So you go here, Jeez, backwards. Then here, here is the cell membrane. You will form a, a vesicle around it, like so. And then step two, step three, whatever. You then merge the vesicle with the cell membrane. And then eventually, you just open up the vesicle and, and, and incorporate the vesicle inside the membrane. So now you got this situation like this. Like so. And the thing is now out of the cell. Okay. So basically the vesicle becomes a part of the cell membrane. And, and, and in reverse, the membrane becomes a vesicle in, 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 in endocytosis. So these two processes can, can, can go opposite ways. So exocytosis and endo. Now there are a couple of forms of uh, endocytosis. Let's, let's, let's discuss them. Okay. So forms of endocytosis. Have what's called phagocytosis used to ingest solid particles, sometimes called cell eating. This is what, this is what a cell might, might use to engulf a, bac a, ba uh, a bacteria, to steal it, or a pathogen. Okay. Then you have pinocytosis, called a cell drinking. This is how you, this, the cell brings in fluids in bulk. Fluids coming this way, and then there's something called your receptor mediated endo, it's the same as any endo, but here you, you, but in this case, first a receptor binds to the target, for example, here. We have a cell. Okay, I was interrupted again. So, here you go. This is your receptor mediated endocytosis where you have things outside the cell, um, things, things of interest to you, and then they'll bind to the receptors and 
then you will then do the usual process then of bringing them in. Bringing them in, you're gonna have your organelle or your vesicle will bud off inside and these things will be brought in specifically because they fit first into the receptor. That's why it's called receptor mediated endocytosis. Okay, we'll stop there.